Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your 2022 forecast for love, romance, and relationships. It is going to be general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If you have not checked out your general 2022 forecast that I uploaded about a month ago, you may want to take a peek at that. Very, very positive messages. I've been doing these general forecasts since I started the channel a couple years ago, but this year I was inspired to offer them as private readings and you guys have really responded because you've been booking with me. So thank you. Um, I am going to pin a comment down below with a link to my website and you can just click on that and be directed um, to my website to book online if you're interested in that. You can also subscribe to my newsletter on there. And I did want to mention that I have special pricing right now. All of my one hour services are 122 versus 166. It's a really great deal. I'm not sure how long I'll have this pricing in place, potentially through the end of the year, um, but don't quote me on that. Um, I did also want to mention that the, I, I'm going to pin comp, you guys, I'm going to pin links for my social media accounts on Facebook and Instagram if you want to connect with me there. And the majority of the decks that I use on the channel are in the description box with a link to my Amazon store if you want to browse there. Um, okay, uh, Capricorn, I have already placed the cards for the overall energy. Um, we're going to look at each quarter of the year, so January through March. Um, April through June, July through September, and then October through December. And we'll get some tarot uh, to see what's coming in. So from the quantum of the seven energies, I'm, no, the oracle of the seven energies. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, we've got the roses kiss. I love this. This is so beautiful. Roses do represent love. Um, and so I, I really like this coming in. There's a little uh, ladybug on here. Ladybugs are good luck. Uh, this energy is really about opening up to joy and pleasure and um, experiencing things through the five senses. Um, it's a very um, a sensual energy coming through. And so I just am and really feeling that you are going to be opening up to experiencing more pleasure, um, you know, through your various senses, touch, taste, um, sight. Um, it's like you just want to drink it all in is what I'm feeling. Beautiful, beautiful energies. Um, and you're opening up to love and romance, whereas you may have had a dry spell. You may have rejected relationships in the past. Um, I feel like you've really been doing some inner work, some healing, and now you're finally ready. Um, it's going to be like a brand new day is dawning. Uh, from the Energy Oracle deck, we've got the door to romance. So I love seeing this come through next to the rose's kiss. You know, if we are not open to something, then it will evade us. But it is when we open up to things that they can enter our lives, okay? And that includes people. Um, so I do feel like you really are opening up to having love and romance in your life. And now the door is going to be opening in 2022. Very exciting. I feel like there's a potential partner coming in for you. Um, this is from the Akashic Tarot. We got two cards for you. This is Hilarion. Hilarion is an Ascended Master. Um, this is a message that he is with you. He's walking beside you. Um, he will be potentially throughout 2022, um, and you can call on him for assistance. Um, you know, he is great with truth communication and healing. So if any of those um, are resonating with you, if you are seeking some sort of truth, I feel like he can help with that. Uh, the, you know, the same is if you are seeking a healing, if you're wanting a healing, potentially in your heart chakra, then he is also able to assist with that. Um, so beautiful, beautiful energies. Um, the garbage trucks are here, so I'm going to pause this. 
sorry about that, Capricorn. Those trucks are so loud. <laughs> Um, okay, so Hilarion, yes, he is going to be assisting you in 2022. If you are feeling like you um, need some truth revealed, um, help with communication, the way you communicate, the way you express yourself, um, or if you are in need of a healing. Um, the other card that's coming through from the same deck is the Six of Keys. It's the Increscent Moon. This is such a positive card. It is about a waxing energy. So the energy is really gaining momentum. Um, this is about the stars are aligning. Everything is coming together. Um, it is about, um, you know, moving toward wish fulfillment. So this is really, really beautiful. Um, the Now I want to take a look at the first card that's coming through, and this is for January through March, and this is from the Quantum Oracle, and this is the Peace card, and it shows this woman on the swing high above the clouds, and there are two swans here. Um, so beautiful, beautiful energy. I, I feel like when you start the year, oh my gosh, when you start the year, um, you're really going to be at peace. You're going to be you're going to be feeling more peaceful than you have in a long time. Um, certainly more peaceful than you did in 2021. Um, there's going to be a sense of calm that um, you enter the new year with. Is what I'm getting. Want to pull one more card and it fell down. Hang on, you guys. Wow. Okay, so as far as tarot goes for the um, first quarter of the year, it's all major arcana, you guys. Um, so it came here in this order, the, the sun, the wheel of fortune, and the magician. This is some really, really powerful energy. Um, what I am just sensing from this, the sun is about possibility. It's about expansion, abundance, opportunities, and it is about joy and happiness. Um, and, you know, that is exactly what the Rose's Kiss was talking about, experiencing more joy in life. And so I do feel that when you begin the new year, um, you're, you're going to have this attitude that anything is possible when it comes to love and relationships. Um, there is going to be um, a deep happiness within you is what I'm feeling um, as you really tune into the things that are possible. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and you guys, this card in this depiction, I always read it as like a one year cycle because we've got all the seasons depicted. We've got spring and summer and fall and winter. And the, it's perfect that this is coming through in the first quarter. So January, and then all of those seasons take us through the year. Um, this is an energy of again opportunity and possibilities um something that is destined it's about things changing um and again i am getting that <clears throat> that message that the energy is gaining momentum so you start off the year in a very peaceful place very happy really open to possibilities um and then throughout the year, I feel like um, the energy really does gain momentum. The stars align and you're just along for the ride. It's like there's no um, desperate energy to make anything happen. You're not grasping at anything. You're just kind of going with the flow and allowing things to come to you. Now, we've got the magician and I love this because this is like a new beginning. Um, it is about creation, magic. Um, it's, you know, it's really saying that you have the tools, the skills, the knowledge to create the life that you are wanting to live, um, to, you know, call in this romance that you're wanting to experience, call in a divine partner. So very strong energy is coming through in the first of the year. Um, now, when we look at April through June, we've got between the worlds. 
between worlds. And, you know, this is very much grayscale, and then this is vibrant technicolor. And what came to me when I pulled this card was um, going from the mundane to the magical. That is exactly what came through for me. The mundane to magic from the mundane to the magical. Um, so I feel like as you move into the spring season, um, it's gonna be a transitional time and you are gonna be experiencing more magic. Um, it's, it's almost like everything is good in the beginning of the year. And then, like I said, it really, the energy really starts revving up for you. And there are going to be magic moments coming in for you um, and yeah it's like it's it's like dreams coming true things that you never could have anticipated it's it's bigger than anything you ever dreamed of is what I'm feeling okay more major arcana my goodness we've got the hierophant and we've got the King of Cups, and we've got the Tower. Um, very interesting energies with the Hierophant coming through. Um, this is about, um, you know, sacred wisdom. This is a very spiritual energy. Um, you know, this can be a card of traditions, um, commitments, marriage, um, religious order uh it's it's such a complicated card but what i'm feeling is that you are going to really um, tap into your own wisdom. You could be seeking out a mentor as well who is going to help you through this transition. But I feel more than anything, you're tapping into your own wisdom. Um, you're seeing some truths. There are some truths that are revealed with the tower coming through. Um, there's like a moment in time and Hilarion very much could be, um, you know, bringing this truth to you. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a revelation. It's like everything just makes sense. Everything just clicks. Um, you know the way forward. And with the King of Cups coming through, I feel like this is somebody coming in for you. Um, yeah, uh, the King of Cups has been coming through for a lot of the signs. Um, just because it's a king doesn't mean it's a man. It depends on, you know, who's watching you guys. I have men, women, same sex, opposite sex, um, you know, so just take what resonates. But as far as an energy, the King of Cups, you know, is mature. It doesn't mean they're old. It just means that they are mature. Um, they've, you know, gone through life and learned lessons. Um, they've overcome. Um, the kings are about self-mastery. This is somebody who's very trustworthy, very sensitive, um, you know, loving, caring, kind, very deep, um, and, you know, very intuitive, very wise person. Um, so I feel like this person is coming in for you and it, they could have a lot of wisdom to share with you with the Hierophant coming through next to it. Um, they could be a mentor to you or you could see them that way. And then a romance develops um, is kind of what I'm feeling um, because we've got the tower card and I feel like this is like releasing everything um, that doesn't serve you when you meet this person. I feel like you've been in the process of this, um, but it's it's almost like um, this is a final release before you really move from the mundane to the magical. Meeting this person, everything just clicks into place is what I'm feeling. Um, so whereas you were just kind of going along before, uh, everything gets pretty, pretty exciting. And then we move in to the summertime. Um, so I feel like in the spring, you're in a transitional energy, okay? And then we get to the summertime with a page of water. 
And this is intuitive, sensitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. And so it's really interesting that um, we have this um, King of Cups coming through in the springtime. This could be someone that you meet um, along the way who just has a lot of knowledge. It could be somebody that you're introduced to or something or that you seek out um, and you're very drawn to them and then your relationship transitions. It's like um, you go from friends or, um, you know, friends or, um, what's the word? I don't know the word I'm looking for. Um, like collaborator, collaborator. You go from friends, collaborators, um, and then it's like it dawns on you. This tower is, it dawns on you um, that, oh, I, I think that I have feelings for this person or they think that they have feelings for you. And so I do sense that um, in the summertime, this person, uh, is going to make it known or you're going to make it known that you have, you know, romantic feelings um, and then a relationship is going to begin. Wow. Okay. We've got the six of wands and this is about a celebration. It is about public recognition and victory. And so I do feel that this relationship is going to be quite successful. We've got the king of swords that's coming through. Um, so this, uh, I feel like this, um, relationship makes sense to you this um, coupling makes sense to you, logical sense. Um, and you're very clear about the way forward. You're very, very clear that you want to be with this person. They're very clear that they want to be with you, um, that you guys can really grow this connection and it can be very successful. We've got the queen of pentacles coming through. Um, this could be your energy. Uh, and again, it doesn't matter that it's a queen. Um, this is very grounded, um, abundant energy. It is, you know, very loving and nurturing. Um, and so it's a really beautiful compliment to this page of water. Um, water and earth definitely go together. Um, you know, the earth creates a vessel um, for the water and water um, brings, allows the earth to, um, you know, bring forth life. So um, these two need each other. Very, very beautifully balanced energy. Um, so I do feel like um, you guys are going to complement each other. Now we are going into the last part of the year, Capricorn. So we're looking at October, November, and December. So we're moving in to your birthday and we've got the 10 of cups that's coming through this is love and blessings fill your life harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after so what i am sensing is that you meet this person you get into a relationship and then you are just a couple um, and it does seem like it is going to be a lasting connection we've got the ten of wands coming through this is an ending on top of an ending it's an arduous ending on top of a happy ending so this is beautiful it's like everything that you struggled with in love and romance um that is a thing of the past we've got the hanged man um i feel like you're able to finally let it all go the pain the sorrow the grief that you've gone through you're seeing things from a higher perspective and it's almost like you had to go through everything that you did in order to learn to really love yourself um, really open up to what you deserve and so going through that you know allowed you to become who you are and it aligned you with this person so you are going to see it um, 
as a blessing in your life. Now, we are ending with the Four of Cups, and it's coming in next to the Hanged Man. And I feel like all of this energy is like one big release because it's on top of the Ten of Cups. Um, so with the Four of Cups coming through, and the Ten of Wands and the Hanged Man, I feel like um, any rejection that you've ever experienced or, you know, missed opportunities that you've been holding on to, um, feeling bored, feeling apathetic, all of that is is a thing of the past. It's leaving your life because now you've got this happily ever after coming through. Very interesting energies. Um, let's get a couple more cards for this 10 of cups, please. What do we need to know about this 10 of cups? The moon. Um, what I am getting from this, because this is very feminine energy and it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, um, you know, the feminine energy is all about receiving, being open to receive. And so what I, uh, the message that's coming through for me is it is, it really is your time to receive. It is your time to receive the tower and um, this, the tower is coming through again. Um, this is a realization that it is your time to receive, um, that this is the real deal and this can really um, go the, the distance. Um, we've got the three of, I'm sorry, the three of pentacles coming through at the bottom of the deck and that is about building something together. So, all right, Capricorn, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload new content. I'm sending you guys lots and lots of love as you continue on your journey. Bye-bye.